Hi guys, I'm Jesse at Stropro.com and today I'm going to be showing you the Stropro Big C Stand with Boom. We have two versions of it here. These are best-selling stands at Stropro. We've made changes over the years and we thought we'd update this video to show you the most current iteration of this stand. So let's take a closer look what makes a C Stand so popular and get right into it. So these stands basically look identical and that's because they are. Over here we have the classic Stropro Big C Stand with Boom, which is silver. And over here we have the special edition version, which is black. Other than the color, they're identical stands, so they're gonna function the exact same way. So you might choose the black one if you're concerned about reflections. A lot of times product photographers just wanna minimize any chance of getting a reflection on glass or something like that. But for most people, it doesn't really matter, so you're great to go with the classic stand here. So whatever version you choose, you can select that on the website, but this video will apply to both of them. So while I still have both C stands on the set here, let's take a look at one of the big reasons why people really enjoy using them in a tight studio. The reason is because they have a small footprint, uh, much more compact than a traditional stand that has the tripods with the legs that really go wide there. Whereas a C stand with its small base and the leg system, you can actually nest the leg under a taller leg and bring them in really close like that. So if you've got a key light, you got a fill, or you're trying to use a flag or something on it, it's just really uh, beneficial to be able to get them close. Plus for storage, if you want to tuck them away, you can stack up five, six stands in the space that normally one or two stands would take with their traditional stand. So that's just one of the reasons why people really enjoy using C-Stands. Okay guys, so you've opened your Strobe Pro C-Stand box, unwrapped the parts. Let's take a look at what we have inside the box. So first off, you're going to have your legs, or this is also called a turtle base on a C-Stand. You're going to have your center column over here. And the added bonus of a Strobe Pro C-Stand is that you're going to get a boom. So we have a 50 inch boom right here, where other manufacturers are only 40 inch. Plus we have two heavy duty grip heads here as well, which give you a ton of mounting options as well. This is all solid steel, it's really heavy duty, and for the price, you're really getting a fantastic deal, and this thing is built to last a lifetime. So let's take a look at how we assemble the Stro Pro C-Stand right now. So I've got the leg section here of the C-Stand, and you can see that it's nice and flat. That's great for storage if you want to tuck it up against a wall or you want to throw it in your car. You can see obviously that it detaches from the main column, but you can leave this attached for storage as well. But it's really easy to put into the leg position and all you're going to do for that is grab a hold of the largest leg here and then grab the smallest one here and we're going to just pull that bottom leg. I'm kind of keeping this one just stationary and just really pulling that one out. You're going to feel right here, it kind of notches down and locks into place. To do the next leg, just again, grab the big leg, grab the medium, pull it, and that's going to drop into the notch as well. And from there, we're ready to receive the center column. Now, to put that away, it's just as easy. Grab the big leg, grab the medium, push it back the other way. It'll lock into the notch, and we're ready for storage or transportation, just like that. So let's put the center column into the leg section here. And before we do that, we can just back out the leg screw here, just um, enough so that the screw is not intruding when we put in the column. So I'm just going to back that off and grab our column here. So one of the things that I just want to mention about this is that we have a flat side. So just like our Stropro spigots, this prevents turning. So this flat side, is actually going to go against the locking screw. And that just prevents this from twisting around. Most manufacturers don't have that. It's just an added benefit that we give you on our Stro Pro C stands. So it's really easy to install. Flat side against the screw, drop it in, tighten this bottom screw. You don't have to over tighten it just like that. And we're ready to go. From here, we can use the C-Stand without the boom. And we have our standard baby pin right here. It's got a flat-sided spigot. So same thing, back out the screw on your strobe and just drop that right on there. We can lock it into place. 
and we can use the C-stand just like this. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the boom in a minute, but let me show you a couple added features to protect your light. So in each section, we have a spring in the bottom, and then we have a spring up in this section as well. So if by chance your light was up there and someone hit it, it's going to come down, bounce on that spring, and save your strobe from a certain death here. Now, talking about safety, what we want to always do is lift the section on the collar here. So I'm talking about this section, or this section, this is the collar. And so when I raise that up, I raise it from there as much as possible. And if I get it up too high, then I'm just being careful with a second hand, never just freehand it, because you don't want this to come down and crush your hand. So lift from there, be safe. This is a heavy duty stand and most people run heavy lights and modifiers on there. So you always want to protect yourself. One nice thing about the C-Stand here as well is that it has a unique collar system, the way that it grips each section. A lot of C-Stands just have this standard uh, screw that would go in, the screw would push against the uh, riser and lock in that way. But inside this mechanism actually, this wraps right around the pole, you tighten it down, you hardly have to turn that, a little quarter inch turn locks that in very securely so you're not constantly trying to tighten it down more and more it locks in incredibly tight because it has that 360 grip there. So that's just another additional feature of the Strobe Pro C-Stand. So if you're not using a battery strobe on your C-Stand, you're probably using a light that plugs in. And we include two cable clamps um, just for cable management as well. So I don't have a light up there, but just to give you an idea, what we could do is there is a little notch right here for the cable to go through. So we put the cable in there, actually slide it down a bit, put the cable and then clamp it on. And that's just going to keep it neat and tidy. There's two of them. So you can do a lower one as well. And that way just the cable's not dangling all over the place and you can keep it a little bit neater and tidier. So let's mount our boom arm to the C-stand now. So the first thing you're going to need to get is one of your included grip heads. This is a really nice grip head. It's got a nice T handle on it right here. It's solid steel. It's gonna take abuse. It takes all the weight that you can throw at it as well, just like the main C stand right here. So to attach this, we're going to back off the main thumb screw right here, just so that we can slide this over top of our baby pin. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the screw should be on the tall side right here. We don't wanna flip that down the other way because we're trying to line up the screw to the flat-sided spigot so we don't have any rotation in that. So once you put it on there the proper way, tighten it down, and now we're ready to grab the boom and attach it. So here we have the boom arm, and this is a steel boom arm. It's gonna be able to take a lot of weight, which people really like about the C-stand. Plus it's got two spigots on it. So up here we have a 3 8 and on the other end we have a quarter inch, which is a standard mount for a lot of different microphones, a lot of different accessories. So if you're using any of those, you can mount directly to this. And again, our flat-sided spigot, which is especially important on the boom to prevent twisting, which I will show you in a minute. So we already lined up uh, which hole we are going to use. And before I put that in, one thing that I want to mention is we want to make sure that the boom is going to stay on the top. We don't want to mount it on the bottom because if this ever came apart, these can actually separate and your boom could drop out. So just for safety, we always make sure that that is on the top. Slide it through and we're going to tighten the T-handle and now put our light onto the boom. We're now ready to attach the light and you can see that I've put the boom in the vertical position here. It's just a little bit easier to mount the light, especially a heavier light like this AD600 Pro, rather than sticking it on the end of the boom arm. So I'm just going to drop that on, make sure I'm lined up against the flat side of the spigot to prevent twisting. And there we go. We are ready to position this out over the leg. So here's a very important safety tip when you're working with the boom. You always want the T-handle of the grip head to be on the right-hand side. So I'll spin this around so you can see it. So if I'm looking at the actual strobe, this handle is on the right. And let me show you why you want to do that. 
if by chance you didn't tighten this all the way down or someone hit it and it loosens off, you can see this is coming down and it's actually tightening. I'll loosen it off a bit more and right there. So it's actually getting tighter and tighter. So you don't have to worry about that smashing into your light stand. Now I would not rely on that as a full safety precaution, but this is why you want it on the right hand side as opposed to the left. Because when we go to the left hand side and I loosen that off, it's actually loosening the light and it came right in the middle on the opposite side of the leg. The stand got really tippy and now you've just ruined a thousand dollar light because it smashed into your stand. So very important, keep the handle on the right of the weight of the strobe and that's just going to give you added protection and safety when working with a boom. So a quick safety tip about positioning the light. If I bring the light up and I decide to put this out here, what I need to be aware is that I've just put the light in a really hazardous position. It's very easy to tip because the weight is not over the leg, it's right between. Now I've got the biggest leg facing the wall here and that's actually the leg I want to use to put the weight over. So you might just have to reposition the stand. You can lift it up, spin it around. Now I've got the boom over top of that leg and even if I send it out there further, I don't have to worry near as much about that tipping over. I've got the weight there. It's providing a nice counterbalance to it as opposed to when I was over here and it's easy to tip. One thing you should do though, once you find the position, you wanna make sure that you lock these in. Don't leave them loose because all it takes is someone to come spin this and if you've got a big load on there, then your light is going down to the ground. So lock into position just like that. You can adjust the tilt however you want. And for added safety precaution, what we're going to do is add a sandbag to that leg. I highly recommend that you pick up a Strobe Pro sandbag. They are very inexpensive and an excellent insurance policy to help prevent any falls of your light off the C-stand. Now instinctively, you might want to come over to the opposite side, put it onto this leg, but the problem is this is kind of held off the ground here. And especially you'll notice it if I put it on the small one, it's essentially sitting on there. We've got a couple inches of room that the stand can actually travel up like this and hit the bag. Right there, it's doing nothing. So what you need to do is put it on the largest leg, which we've already aligned to the load. Now you can see that that's spinning, it's not touching the ground, and the full weight of the bag is preventing this from tipping. We can also use the bag as a counterbalance up here, so let me show you how to do that right now. I've grabbed our other grip head here. This is the second one, which is included with your stand. And since we're not using it on that end for the strobe, we can use it down here as kind of a stop for the sandbag. So all I'm going to do is find that flat side again, slide it on here and lock that down, making sure it's nice and secure. And then I can grab my sandbag and again, I would still keep the one on the leg. So pick up two, they're really inexpensive, so it's not gonna break the bank to have a couple. And you can see that that's not gonna slide off now. So if we really need to send the light out, we've got a nice counterbalance there that just helps you prevent any tipping. So you might find yourself in a situation like this where you want your light perpendicular and you want to adjust it. Now my only adjustment on the light right now, I can go back that way with the handle, but if I wanna go this way, I've actually got to go to the uh, main boom release and turn it that way. The Problem with that is it's a quite a heavy strobe, it's sliding a little bit, I'm losing grip, and it's not easy to kind of turn that, hold it, and lock it in. So there's a better option if you want to do this, and it's using our secondary grip head, the one that we were using for the sandbag on the boom earlier. If we're not using it there, we can bring it over here and put it on to the end. Again, finding that flat side. So to make this work properly, we are going to need to purchase an optional baby pin. They're very inexpensive. So it's a good idea to have one of these with your C-stand. On the one end, you can see that we have a couple little indents there and those are going to go directly to the strobe. So sometimes I find it easier to mount the spigot actually into the strobe first so I can line up those holes. You'll feel it grip in there. 
Then we can go over to our grip head. We're going to again use the large holes, the same ones that we used on the boom before. And with that in place, we can tighten that down. Now we have the ability to use the strobe lever and adjust the tilt right from there rather than going to the boom and twisting it this way. Just a lot easier to manage that by using the strobe handle here. Now I would recommend putting a safety cable on this, make sure no one's underneath that ever if you've got it up boomed because this could easily fall out if you haven't tightened it properly. One more safety technique for the C-stand, you never want to store a C-stand in your studio with the boom in a horizontal position. Someone could easily walk into this, it could come down and hit someone when they're least expecting it. So always loosen that off, put it vertical, bring it down into position here, lock it so that way no one's going to lose an eye and you're not going to be held responsible. So there you have it guys, that's everything you need to know about the Stropro Big C-Stand with Boom. C-stands have been used in the industry for decades. They're the staple on movie sets, professional studios, and with the Stropro Big C-Stand, it's affordable enough that you can have it at home now. We have constantly professionals telling us what great quality these are. They can't believe the price for what you're getting, the boom, the extra knuckles. It's really an unbeatable value. So you can also purchase additional accessories for these stands, such as the sandbag like we showed you, a baby pin, or maybe you want to wheel this around your studio so you can actually pick up the Strobe Pro caster set or the mini roller for this as well. Those links are in the description below. So whatever you choose, whether it's the black C stand or the silver C stand, I think these are an amazing upgrade for your studio and it's really going to take you to the next level. Until next time, I'm Jesse at Strobe Pro.com.